Um, hello, Professor. Um, com because compared with our midterm video, um, our project doesn't have too much changes. So I wonder your some your story to ex to answer your programs in the commands. But first, I want to introduce our architecture. As shown in the picture, our architecture is a MVC. Model means database, controller means API, and view means browser. And I will use this f um, picture um, after uh, yeah, user yeah. story to answer uh, the another two programs in commands. So next, I want to say uh, user story. Uh, log login page. Okay. The per, per, the per condition is now. The action is that user taps user ID then clicks the login button. For example, I tap the last test and click click the login page. Okay, and the post condition is that I enter the main page. And uh, on the final picture in our report, we can see how the system um, determines whether the ID exists or not and how do they and solve, solve um, different conditions. And biggest difference is that if the ID exists, the database will um, return the true to the controller and the controller will tell the um, border to enter the main page directly. But if the database tells the controller false, the controller will request the mod modem to create a new user ID and then uh, user can enter the can enter the uh, user main page, and then the next story is create or add a new shopping list. The precondition is that user on the last page list page action um action is that the user types new list name and clicks the item buttons. For example, I I. Um, tap the last four and uh, click the, and then we can see the last four. Okay, because last four is really exist in the system, so we can see uh, it's a not a new one, and there are already three items here. And uh, from the picture in our report here, we can see how the system solves um, the different conditions. And 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 we can see that here is our test account, and here is a user one account. If this if the user one add the last four two and I select it, okay, we can we can see that. And if we make any change in the last two, for example, I delete the the to do fourteen two and add a new and add a milk. Okay, and in the test account, refresh. Okay, we can see that the, the to do fourteen two disappeared and the milk appears. That means these two accounts share one shopping list. Mm, and I want to uh, use two, and I want to introduce two two user story to for our f future functions. The first one is add the last name. The precondition is last page. The, ac ac the action is that the user selects the list, then type new list name. Post the post condition is that the user can see the the list with new name. And the second future uh, function is filter items. The precondition is that uh, the user on the main page. The action is that the user clicks one um, of these three buttons. The post condition is that if a user um, if your user select this, um, use, um, if your user cl click the all buttons, he or she, uh, they can see the all items in this uh, shopping list. And uh, if they um, click the untaken buttons, and they can see the items they didn't uh, they, di they didn't select before. And if they click the taken button, they can see. They can only see the items they select in this li in this list.